Good morning, Mama Galan here. Today I'm gonna to share a video of how to make delicious flour tortillas, deliciosas. I wanna give a shout out to John and to Derek for helping me with this video. Enjoy. So you need three cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one third cup of lard, I use armor, and two cups of very hot water. So I have already placed the flour and the baking powder. Now I'm just going to add the salt. Then you pour, put in the manteca, and manteca is the best. Our bodies process animal fats better than man-made fats. So always use animal products if you want a healthier version. It might sound contradictory but it's true. All the research shows that. So what you do is you keep on just mixing all of the ingredients. Yes, you have to use your hands. And I actually forgot to say my little prayer. So here it goes. My mom always used to show me that before I cooked anything, I need to say a little prayer, make the sign of the cross. This is a recipe that my mom shared with me. And I've been making tortillas for many, 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 many years. So now it's supposed to feel like it's sort of coarse in your hands, sort of a little sticky. And that's the way it should be. Okay. Then you're going to add in the water. So just be careful that this is hot. And you can do it a little bit at a time. And let me show you, see? How it's getting to be the masa, okay. Keep on. So this is my first time that I do the video, so I don't have any help. I hope I'm doing okay. Shout out to Fatoon and Stephanie that got me going. So you just keep on mixing it, mixing it, until you have a consistency that you can roll out. So just give me one second. So it's supposed to kind of not necessarily once you're able to do this, like take off the masa from your hands without sticking. So as you can see, I need a little bit more water to make sure all of the other masa is there. So I actually didn't use the whole two cups, maybe a cup three fourths today I did the recipe when with measuring but I usually don't measure it's just you know and so you keep on you keep on you keep on and you keep on this is the trick right here so then you have this masa right here okay and you're gonna take it out of the bowl. By the way, this bowl was my mom's, so very dear to me. Mi olla. Mi olla de mi mamá. So then you're going to place it there, and it might need a little bit more flour just to knead it, and you keep on kneading it, and you throw it a little bit. 
Sorry, maybe the phone turned. I don't know. But this is the trick right here. You keep on with a lot of love, a lot of love, a lot of love. You keep on doing that. And then you're going to cover it. So now that we have the masa, you start making the testales. So your little balls, they are, you fold them like this. So now I'm going to go bilingual. Hacen los testales. Son testales. Y los ponen a un lado. So this must take some practice to get them this way. But remember, much experience with making tortillas. Yo no voy a comer tortillas de harina, pero voy a comer tortillas de maíz con barbacoa, aguacate, chile, cilantro. So then, what you do, is you start rolling them. So give me, this is the last one. And there's a baby one right here. This actually, this rolling pin came, I bought it when I went to South Korea with ISA about, what, two, three years ago. So then this is what you're starting to do. You start to roll. And by the way, you have to heat up your oven. And you roll. only has to be turned twice. Solamente se voltea dos veces. So, I hope that you start making flour tortillas, enjoy them, and bendiciones, be kind, and have a blessed day. Love you. Bye-bye.